properly saddling and preparing my horse to get ready to team rope. Uh, first of all, you will, you will want to brush your horse, take your brush, go with his hair, get all any big chunks of dirt. You don't want any, any cuckaburrs per se, for sure. No big dirt clot under here. You want his, you want his hair kind of nice you know, clean per se, get under his belly because your cinches are going to go under, under here and up. And so starting, I will throw my pad up and over on his withers on his back, kind of get it where I'll eventually want it to be. I will grab my saddle and I will lift it and I, I don't want to throw just throw your saddle up there. You want to lift it up and you want to place it on your horse and that way you don't scare your horse, get him to jump, run away, break loose per se, whatever. Uh, and like right there, I basically have my saddle where I want it. I, want, I got my saddle where I want it on my saddle pad. I want more saddle pad up front like a team roping saddle pad it's not too big it's basically just right for your team roping saddle and i want to go back here the center of the saddle pad i want about the center with my saddle and then i will walk over walk over and I will lift these down. I don't want to just throw them over. Therefore, if another horse is around or even this guy, if, if I caught him off guard, flipped him over, I could scare him, pull back, pull back also. You know, if he pulls back and jumps forward, he could hurt you. But, and then also, now I got my cinches and my breast collar down. I want, I want, I want basically the center of my front cinch to be a, a little bit right of center of his belly. Then that way, when I get on the other side and I cinch it up, the center center of the front cinch will be center of his belly. And that way, because these cinches are made, they're bigger in the, the team roping cinches are going to be bigger in the middle. Then that way. He has good leg movement. You can see here where it goes up. That way, none of his legs are hitting his cinches, rubbing him wrong. And I want them behind the front leg. I don't want them way up here, like already in his movement. I want them back here set a little way so it has free movement, uh, no rubbing. Basically, I just don't want anything to interfere his movement. Now moving on to actually cinching up our horse. We got our we have our cinches where we would like them so when we come onto the left side of the horse we can lift our stirrup up and over so we have free like easy and then i like to leave my lie to go like this then that way if i'm carrying it if i got to carry it from the barn to the horse and it's 20 feet there ain't no way this is going to come undone and i trip over it just not really just because that's how I like to do it. I know other people don't, it's just, that's just me. I will grab my front cinch. I have it free and clear from his front leg. I will take my latigo, take it through the D-ring and through. Then I'm gonna go up on the saddle D-ring, go down, go back through the front cinch. And I'm not gonna just rip him in two right here. I'm gonna leave him kind of loose for now just and i'm going to go back up here but i just want to leave it loose for now and let this horse get used to saddle being on him i just no chance of bucking no chance of him being scared take my back cinch that's probably a little too tight for me like that for now come up here reach over his shoulder i do because i don't want to reach under in case he is cold back, he doesn't jump on me. Take it through the breast collar D. And 
I want this breast collar be in the center. We'll go under his two front legs and and hook on the hook onto the front center of D down here. Hook onto it.